Hey everybody, this is Mr. DeLeon9999 and I'm doing a video for a friend of mine. He had a request for me doing a detailed video on my Mauser. The gentleman's name is The Other Homer. He has a new video guys you should check out. He's displaying his um, rifle collection. So, you should check it out guys. He's got some good, some, some very good rifles and He's even got a collection of items from World War II. So check him out, guys. He's a real good guy. Start off with the um, round that this firearm uses. It uses a 7, well, not a 7, I'm thinking of my Molson and got. <laughs> it shoots an 8mm round. You see, it's a pretty big round, guys. It's got some good stopping power on it. And you can only load 5 into the internal magazine. And, um,. You can't load one in the chamber, so you can't. You can only load five. You can't load plus one. It doesn't work that way. But let's go ahead and start off with the rifle here. We'll start from this end. I bought this rifle about a year ago, and um, I got it pretty cheap. And I spent about 20 bucks refinishing it. And as you can see, guys, the rifle came out pretty good. I'm real happy with it. It's a whole lot better shape now than it was when I bought it. It was a real rough shape, guys. It was like a dark walnut brown finish, you know, and it had some deep gouges going across the grain. So I went ahead and sanded it down. I had to because to get the deep gouges from going across the grain out of there, plus all the markings were gone. So whoever refinished this rifle did a real shitty job, to tell you the truth. But I went ahead and refinished the rifle. I put two layers of uh, stain on it. This regular old mid-wax gun stock stain. And I followed up with about five coats of um, five layers of tongue oil. And you can see that in the, in the glossy shine of the rifle here. It's a real nice color. It just comes out to you. I love the grain. Now we're going to go ahead and I want to show this part of the rifle. Of course, this is the part of the Mauser where you um, it helps you disassemble the boat. I am missing a ring that's supposed to go around the, that hole there. It's supposed to have a ring. But, of course, I did with what I could with what I got, you know. The stock has been shortened. The last owner sporterizes the rifle. I'm assuming that's why you remove most of the stock there. It's missing some of it. Of course, that grain is real pronounced here. We got the rear sights here. Of course, we got the front sights. There's a shot of the front sights. We got the um, crest there of the Turkish, along with the date, 1937. Well, fortunately, guys, this is not a numbers matching rifle. As you can see, the numbers differ from the receiver to the bolt. But, you know, it's the way it was when I got it, guys. But this is the safety here. I got my finger on it right there. Of course, we'll go ahead and check it for safety. Make sure there's not a round in here. I seriously doubt it because I don't keep no loaded guns in my safe. Of course, this is a bolt action, so you have to cycle it every time you want to fire the rifle to push a shell. A, 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 can't even talk, guys. A shell into the into the um, chamber and eject the empty round. Of course, just go ahead and lift the safety up. When you do so. You can move the um, bolt, but when you um, bring the, if I can bring this bolt down, there we go. But if you bring the safety down all the way, you cannot move the bolt. You pull the trigger, but it will not fire. So when you um, take the safety off completely, you will be able to fire the firearm, as you can see. 
And this this little project that cost me little and came out real good. I'm real proud of the rifle. As you can see, it came out quite well. I just want to do a close up, guys. For my friend over here, he want to take a good look at it. So I hope you enjoy this close up review of it. I like the way the gloss comes out on this rifle. Came out real nice. And it'd be a real nice rifle to shoot. I plan on shooting it sometime after Easter. Gonna give me a couple boxes of ammo. I like to shoot about 50 rounds at a time. So I can really enjoy it. Hate to just buy one box and only shoot 20, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the other side, guys. Just give me a moment to turn the rifle around. As you can see, we have that beautiful grain there coming through. And if I imagine if I took this rifle back to the gun shop, I'm sure they wouldn't even recognize it if I put it in their hands. I plan on getting me a sling for it. Of course, I can't put a bayonet on it. don't have the bayonet lug. But put a period correct scope on it as well. I'm going to have to look around. Look for the mount and the uh, scope. So I'm going to have to find someone who produces one so I can place it on the gun so I can have a, have it scoped so if any of you guys out there who who know of a website that sells period scopes for Mausers or any parts for the Mausers I would appreciate it guys but this is just a close-up look of the Mauser for you Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel so far. I appreciate it. You guys are helping me out a lot. Thank you. And uh, if any, anybody else has any requests, if I can do it for you, just send it my way. I'll let you know if I can do it or not. I'll be happy to do so guys. So, for right now, I'll let you go. This is Mr. DeLeon9999 and I'm out.